So good morning guys and today let's talk about failure. Let's roll the intro. So good morning guys and today let's start the day right with breakfast and I do breakfast. So today I'm gonna take um, two of these uh, things, sandwich, whatever, they, are, um, they have some calories, they have uh, 140 calories uh, per one of these uh, rolls and the macros are 28 grams of uh, carbohydrates, um, four of fiber, uh, three sugar, six protein, and only two fat. So what I'm gonna do, what I normally do, is uh, in the morning is where I eat the, the most right now. I have changed that. Um, I'm trying to eat as much as uh, possible to fill on the day uh, in the mornings. And then I don't feel hungry at all in the afternoon. And then towards night, I get a little bit more hungry, but uh, since I have calories left, then I can you know keep on on eating. First thing that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna put this to toast. So I'm gonna come here and leave it toasting here. This is gonna be quick because I have uh, everything like literally kind of like prepared. So I let that toasting. I already washed this uh, tomato, which I'm gonna be uh, taking, so let me just slice it real thin. You're gonna see why. Uh, I'm a person that I don't like that much uh, tomatoes, but um, this way I can like really eat it with no issues. Yeah, that's plenty enough. So what I'm planning on doing is gonna be kind of uh, like a sandwich of um, uh, this is a um, smoked uh, salmon, so I really like it. I use it with a, I do like kind of like sushi, but my version, like my healthy version, instead of uh, you know like real sushi, which is way better. But um, you know, it's something that we have to do if we want to succeed, right? So basically, um, what I do, I prepare this uh, this sandwich. Uh, I of course don't eat this every single day. Um, this is more like on the weekends, where I don't normally on, on the weekends I do uh, meal prep for the week, and I kind of like enjoy a little bit more of a you know more crafted uh, type of uh, you know um, you know foods literally. So let me just start up heating this up uh, the pan because I'm gonna do some egg whites here. So um, let me just, that was a little bit too much, but uh, unfortunately this type of, type of uh, pans, they are, non, uh, they are not non-stick, they are different. So what I do, I literally spray the pan and I come here and I do this, okay? What this helps is uh, it takes out a lot of the grease, as you can see here, but it lets the pan coat it for what I'm gonna be doing. So, real simple. Let me get some egg whites and let's uh, measure this up. And it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna take uh, one cup of egg whites. So, let me open it up here. And then let's leave that cooking right there and let me close this up and let me start uh, preparing the, the sandwich. So while the eggs are being done, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna season the salt salmon. So simply go here and I do some pepper. I don't put, put salt because the, since it is a uh, smoked salmon, already has some salt. So also uh, what I add is a little bit of, uh, this is ga garlic powder. So it, it gives like a really good uh, flavor. 
to a salmon and let me get this out of the way and now I'm gonna show you how to assemble the, you know, the sandwich. So I'm gonna put this over here and let me get the first bread and let me wipe this salt. So just one second. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here get a couple of uh, slices so go like this and like this that way it's kind of like even then I put some tomatoes and a little bit more of pepper okay and then I go and I put a little bit of uh, greens. So give me just one second. Kind of like this. And let me top it off. And that is a really good sandwich. So let me put a pause here so I meet you at the table. So yeah, um, this is a really good breakfast. It's basically, it's gonna be these two sandwiches um, and also a cup of uh, egg whites and something that I do to top it off uh, and also helps me get by fuller is a zero calorie tea. In the morning, since I'm gonna be working out in around like two hours or something like that, um, I don't like like drinking coffee with the breakfast if I'm gonna be working out like so uh, near the time that I'm taking the breakfast uh, because then it's gonna be like too much caffeine because I take uh, pre-workout so let me give it a test and let's see how, how this thing goes this is salmon tomatoes uh, some mix uh, spring mix and this uh, bread nothing else salt uh, no no salt only pepper um, let's see mm. this thing is refreshing like this is so good like super good and I don't like that much egg whites but it's like a like a really easy type of uh, protein source. And if you do it correctly and you put like some, um, you know, sugar-free ketchup, uh, ketchup or something else, sometimes it, it works fine. Mm. But it's really good. So, um, yeah. That's that's basically it. I'm gonna put the macro somewhere on the on the video so you can see it maybe here And hopefully this time the camera is focusing on me and not on that thing because Sony I'm the important one Not this thing this thing is not important at all I'm the important one. I'm the subject. You have to focus on me Is this cinematic enough? Is this good content? <laughs> Oh, this, this is yummy. Now, focus on this. Nice. Now me. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, basically that's it. Basically that's it. Thank you so much for everything, guys, and sorry about, about the rambling. Um, sorry about the rambling. This is the, the tea, the ice cold tea. And... Basically, uh, let's jump into a gym edit and let's talk about something super important, which is failure. So, let's jump to the gym edit. Huh. It's better knowing how to fall than to stumble. Living on the line with the truth or there. I've seen you on the radar so many times. I don't want to end up hiding. I don't want
So let's talk about like, for example, like goals, like when you have a goal and you want to accomplish that goal and you are doing everything, you know, to be able to reach those goals, just imagine that it's like weight loss, okay? Or everything in life, nothing is like linear, okay? There is gonna be ups, there is gonna be down, there is gonna be disappointments, and I'm telling you that it's not gonna be perfect, okay? So if you're looking for perfection, then <laughs> sorry to tell you, it's not gonna happen. So let me tell you something, and it's something that maybe doesn't happen to you, but it happens to me, like not everything is like as beautiful as, you know, as everything is portrayed. Like, for example, like diet, okay? So am I perfect on the diet that I do and, you know, the nutrition that I do? Uh, no, I am not. I have break it like so many times. Like I have getting, you know, I had get, you know, thinner. Uh, I have to get fatter, um, you know, it's, have you know gain weight and then lose it and it's it has been kind of like a roller coaster now it would be high hypocrite for me to tell you that you know that I haven't gained weight I have gained weight in like this couple of a uh, month I have gained it I'm not gonna blame it on uh, everything that has happened or uh, you know, the way that we're living right now and that everything is closed. Uh, I'm not gonna blame it on that. It's my own fault, literally. And I don't know if I made some uh, noise here. So, you know, am I bummed about it? Hell yeah. Um, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna change anything from me. No at all. It's basically like, I, you know, I look at myself I saw it, I derailed from the path, and now I have to like go back. And it's something that is gonna happen to you, it's life. It's like nothing is 100% perfect. Nothing is 100% like the way that you think it's gonna be. So the moral of this story is that, um, you know, if something happens, and hopefully it doesn't happen to you, if something changes on your life, if so, some priorities change, if something is different then derails you from your goals, then you have all the freedom to come back and do it again and keep going and do it even better. So I'm just being honest, I'm just being real as you know the only thing that is gonna be always on this channel is gonna be real. So I messed up. I messed up. I feel super bad because there is a lot of people, you know, like looking, looking up to me, and you know, and I feel really bad. I gained weight. Uh, I got frustrated with things in life, and I got back to old habits of benching, and and I and I did it, and I stopped like a couple of weeks. But you know, I, I did some damage. I, I really did some damage. It's, it's frustrating. Um, I'm disappointed. I'm more than, you know, I, I work and I, you know, I'm so advocate of integrity and that's completely lack of integrity. So, yeah, basically it's a... Uh, it's, it's super bad. I'm laughing, but it's super bad. It's, I'm disappointed, but being disappointed is gonna affect something? No, at all. Now I have to like forget about all that and start again and do it all over again and see, you know, and avoid everything that I did to derail all this thing. Everything started by me breaking some habits that I shouldn't have been breaking. breaking. So. Yeah, basically, basically that's it. This is kind of like, uh, you know, an honest, um, you know, an honest video. It's not a fancy video or anything like that. It's uh, an honest one. And trust me, I'm pushing to, to do everything as best as I can. So yeah, basically that's it. 
Thank you so much for everything. Have a beautiful day.